how much exactly have you made, like specifically the last month? I mean, I kind of took it away here already. And of course, how much have you been making in general over the last couple of months? Do you just want to give us some, some insight in that? Yeah, yeah. I was super happy about finding my, my new coach for whom I'm closing now since January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So January was my first month where I got like um, 15,000 euro net. Mm -hmm. And this was only like three weeks. So this was also already a very good uh, month to start. And yeah, over the last three months, I got each month about 15 to 70 euro net. 15 to 70 euro per month. Yeah. So this wow. was yeah, incredible for me. Hey, this is Marcus Dunk here. And today I'm sitting here with uh, one of our amazing clients, uh, Melanie. So Melanie just cracked the uh, 17,000 euro per month mark on her offer. And uh, yeah, I thought I would just invite her over today for an interview to talk about her story um, and how she got here and where she's coming from and all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, Melanie, thanks for, for tuning in. I really appreciate that. How is everything for you today? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm very good. Super excited about chatting with you, but I think everything will be fine. So yeah, I just come back from Barcelona where I stayed for four weeks now and yeah. came back to a little bit colder Germany. Yes. Yeah. I can imagine. Barcelona is, is beautiful. So yeah, I would say we jump right into the interview. So we have a lot to talk about here today. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit, like how, uh, how much exactly have you made, like specifically the last month? I mean, I kind of took it away here already. And of course, how much have you been making in general over the last couple of months? Do you just want to give us some, some insight in that? Yeah. Yeah. I was super happy about finding my, my new coach for whom I'm closing now since January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So January was my first month where I got like um, 15,000 euro net. Mm -hmm. And this was only like three weeks. So this was also already a very good uh, month to start. And yeah, over the last three months, I got each month about 15 to 70 euro net. 15 to 70 euro per month. Yeah. So this wow. was yeah, incredible for me. <laughs> that's that's great and, and that's really just you taking inbound calls and you are talking to people and, and helping them make a decision or do you do any like cold calling or anything like that or uh, no it's super easy so my calendar is being booked by my coach yeah I have like a bit of strategy how to talk about the customers but I also got all this knowledge from your workshop uh, which helps mm -hmm. me a lot and yeah I'm it's super nice because there are a lot of women in my, in this, um, yeah, closing Zooms and mm -hmm. a lot of inspiring calls I had so far. So it's very nice and, and inspiring work I can do. Okay, cool. You talked to a lot of women in the offer that you're currently on and interesting people as well. So tell us a little bit about, because some people, they're super confused when you hear closing, closing deals, like what exactly does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, like, how did you, or, or no, before we go into that, like what kind of deals or offers or what it, what is it that you um, that you are, that, that the offer is, or what exactly are you do? Are you helping people with on the offer that you're closing currently? You mean the, the coach that I'm working for? What, what is her, her yes. product? Okay. Yeah. So I'm working for a, a woman who is like offering like, um, a program for especially women to get financially free. Like, um, it's kind of, um, ETF and mm -hmm. all that, um, how do you like say? Investing? Invest, like investing? Investments, mm -hmm. yeah. How to do the investments by themselves, not mm -hmm. giving it to, to a bank uh, or to a mm -hmm. broker or to discussing with their partner to get really the knowledge um, to have the investments for them. Um, also uh, referring um, in if, when you're getting older. So basically for like financial education, like how to, how to properly invest your money by yourself, exactly. how to do retirement planning. Yeah. Um, all retirement. Of that yeah, exactly. It's hair focus is on, on retirement plans for, mm -hmm. for women. 
Wow, that's great. That's 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 amazing. And and they specifically focus on on female on, on women. Yes, exactly, exactly. And okay. Yeah, I, I and myself, I'm I'm standing uh, behind the product, so it's very easy to to make the yeah the calls. Just really quick here, um, you also you don't um, do these closing calls in English, like we have to interview in English now, but you're working in your native language, you're working mm -hmm, exactly. in German, right? Yeah, I do the Zoom calls in, in German language only. Okay, mm -hmm. got you. Cool. Why don't you tell us a little bit kind of um, about what were you doing before you joined our mentoring program? Um, give us a little bit of an overview, like where were you in the beginning um, when we first okay. met? So I think I have to, to step back a lot of years now, Marcus, because okay. <laughs> um, yeah, in, in my past, I was working la a lot of years in the sales. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, in the sales for a company producing like textile. So this was for a long time a dream job, but mm -hmm. from a one time I, there was some, um, yeah, I saw there, there was no appreciation for me. And the financial um, um, limits were also set for me, so I couldn't get any higher in this company. Mm -hmm. And this was the first um, point where I was thinking, is there anything else for me? And I think mm -hmm. uh, it's getting more financial income and getting a remote job um, mm -hmm. Because I, I love to, to camp with my partner. We have like a camper at home, so... But this was still in my head. So, and um, it was like end of 2018 when something uh, yeah, terrible happened. You know, my husband died very suddenly. Mm -hmm. So 2019 was yeah, a very, very bad year for me. So um, I was deep in, in, deep in grief. And this was a point where I was reviewing all my life. And I, I knew this, this was a point of doing something new because I knew I couldn't get back in, the, in my old life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this was a point I was really looking for something new in my life. And um, the first thing I found, which I still am doing was like my network marketing. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, my team, yeah, I'm working for a network marketing company from Austria that is producing fresh cosmetics. And I, I really love this, um, yeah, yeah, this kind of work. But it's yeah. a work that you, where you step slowly into the, your financial income. Mm -hmm. And when doing like um, a program for myself, like a personal development program. Mm -hmm. um, I met your friend Oscar and mm -hmm. he told me about uh, doing closing from wherever you want, from, where, from all over the world. Yes. So I thought this might be interesting for me as well. So um, I had a talk with uh, Oscar and later on with you and I thought, well, give it a chance mm -hmm. because I had nothing to lose and even the workshop I did with you, it not even helped me by getting new closing skills, but also helping me in, in a lot of other ways. Also for my network marketing business, it, it, it was very helpful, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, when, when I, I finished your uh, workshop, I was looking for a coach. Mm -hmm. um, and I was looking for a coach with a product that I could stand behind so I looked for um, yeah a coach that is doing the program that is offering the program I did for myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I got into contact with a woman uh, with whom by the way I'm still having regular zoom calls because we inspire each other wow that's great yeah but as far as the closing it didn't got so well because she she didn't have so much good leads mm -hmm. so um yeah, and then I, I stopped closing. I didn't know why, because I thought it's nothing for me. Mm -hmm. Was that the time? Because there was probably this was about a year ago. We quickly yeah. met and played at Carmen exactly. and Kristen for breakfast. 
yeah. was that kind of that period where you kind of you got it started and then it kind of slapped in a little bit you yeah kind of exactly wandered exactly. off you could say yeah. um was yeah, that, that a period exactly this was a period and then meeting you and uh, seeing how how you live and telling about your your closing success i thought i should give it a second try mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah that's 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 such a like your story is, is 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 so for me it's very inspiring because your your progress was not very linear or it was not yeah, like from exactly. the get-go you kind of took off like this there was there were lots of ups and downs throughout the throughout your, your journey you could say yeah. Um, but at the end, you, you never really like quit entirely, right? You, you always kind mm -hmm. of, um, maybe you, you reduce a little bit your attention in terms of closing, but you always manage to kind of get back onto it. And at the yeah. end of the day, you made it work. Uh, I mean, we're sitting here right now, we're having you on an interview because you've been crushing it since the beginning yeah, of the year. It's so which incredible. Is exciting. Um, and especially you kind of going through all of these difficult times that you just talked about, you know, um, I mean, it's it's so inspiring to 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 see how you turn that really around, and um, yeah, and, and like you said at the beginning, you kind of just coming back from Barcelona, so <laughs> yeah, uh, you're traveling. Um, that's 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 great. Um, what what do you feel like? What did we help you with the most um, in that process? There are a lot of things I remember. I remember the, the first this book go giver which really made a change in my mind to give first mm -hmm. but this was really something i adapted in my whole life mm -hmm. so this didn't even change my my closing business this changed my whole life and yeah it was like the structure you gave us on the hand that you know how you make the zoom calls although also the skills to um, to talk with a person from heart to heart because yeah. when i say i'm in the sales people always think of sales like pushing people like making sales with pressure and this is not the work we we do at all so i really feel the person and i i look where where is their um yeah the their pain and why they came into the zoom call with me so and yeah, also the um, the belief that uh, with every Zoom call, you can help the persons, the people. So mm -hmm. it was like an all over change for me, your program. I could not pick some only one, one, one point. Uh, from <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so multitude <laughs> of good. points. But um, you, you mentioned one thing there, and this is uh, very interesting that you're saying that uh, kind of the the image that society has of like sales people or people who yeah. are in sales. I mean, you have a background of corporate sales, right? So you've been yeah, in corporate exactly. sales before. Um, but uh, what we do here is, is like with, with remote closing and, and, and high ticket closing, it's, it's a very different approach. It's not like the twisting your arm and, and manipulating mm -hmm. people. It's really more like a wholehearted approach. Um, and the go-giver, like you said, like really taking care of the other people and making sure that whatever the offer is that you that you that you have or that you're closing on um for example you for for these uh, for these uh, um female uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, entrepreneurs or females who want to learn more about how to be self-sustainable financially like mm -hmm. is that really the right fit like can the program really help them yeah right and if not you should definitely not take them on and mm -hmm. not close them right yeah exactly um, okay um another question that i have and that i would be curious about so um, like the people around you, you know, your friends, your, your closer family, um, they, I'm sure they kind of know the struggle that you went through previously mm -hmm. and that you started with also the network marketing, which of course takes longer to, to kind of, kind of scale. Um, what do they say about your transformation and about you now being on that offer and just being able to travel around while you work from your camper or from wherever, from the Airbnb and making like realistically more money than a lot of doctors out there or engineers yeah, exactly. so do they know about your success already or what do they say about it like so my my, my closest friends and my real friend they are really really proud of me and they they even when, when i say the numbers they couldn't even believe uh, the yeah. numbers i said so um most people are very proud 
but you know, as everywhere, there are also those people who envy you or who say, well, that's not possible. And, mm -hmm. um, but the people who are really belong to me, they're super, super proud of me. And even now also my family, um, when I told my parents my first income with this, um, with this coach, my mm -hmm. father say, says, well, that's, that's a good income, but it depends for which period you, you earned it. And I said, well, two weeks. <laughs> so he said, what? <laughs> so, yeah, wow. I, I, I thought I, I really also made my family very, very happy and uh, proud of me. Wow, that's 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 so good to hear um and and uh, i mean also for 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 oneself for for you that after you go through through kind of the yeah. the struggle you could say of of, of practicing and getting better and, and uh, making sure you get on the right offer you know all of that process and then finally once you're there everything kind of pays off right mm -hmm. and um so tell us a little bit more about how does your like how does your day-to-day -day life look like right now Melanie? like what do you usually do like do you take just calls the entire day or like mm -hmm. give us a little bit of an insight okay. so for um april and may i uh, i decided to get a bit more uh, zoom calls because mm -hmm. in the summertime i wanted to make it a bit slower for me to enjoy really to to make a journey with my camera yes. so and slow means like uh, three days a week so mm -hmm. um i have monday and yeah, for the, mon for the moment, I have Monday off. So I have Tuesday, like six calls. I have Wednesday, three calls, Thursday, six and Friday, five calls. Mm -hmm. But it's only my decision because I wanted to, to, to make a lot of Zoom calls in April and my, May. And from June, I wanted to step back to three days only. So, and okay. this is a nice thing because I even could step into an airplane and uh, fly anywhere and can do my work there as, as I did in, in Barcelona, or I could decide on Sunday, now I go away with my camera and can do it from there. So this mm -hmm. is really, really cool. And I really enjoy it. Yeah, that's, it, gives, it just gives you that, that um, immense flexibility at the same yeah. time, uh, not just about being in control of how much you want to work or how much calls you want to take now, yeah, but also like, the, the, the independency in terms of your of your location right you can mm -hmm. just go anywhere and yeah. something that i always loved really about about uh, remote closing or, or or what we do you know high ticket closing is the freedom of, of really just doing what you want you know if mm -hmm. if you're someone who really enjoys working hard okay you can just take a ton of calls mm -hmm. uh, but exactly. if you're someone who says well in the summer i would take i would like to take my camper and only work on tuesdays and thursdays or yeah. maybe friday a little bit you could do that as well okay as long as your performance is well and you um you put yourself in line with whoever you're closing these deals for yeah yeah um but again this is definitely not sometimes i have people melanie you know they tell me about passive income or they just want to relax and sit at the beach and don't do anything yeah. There's no real you know, passive income at and all. And this is not for you if you, yeah, exactly. This is not for, for somebody who is lazy, who just want to make a quick yeah. buck. Like this is someone, this is for someone who really wants to build something legit, a strong foundation and business that they can build onto, right? Exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, mm, mm, what else? Is there any other question that I want to ask? Let me just quickly think. So yeah, there was one I mean, sentence I wanted to say to you, Marcus. Yeah, uh, one sure. sentence you told me that was in my mind. I don't know if I could get it in English so good as you told it to me, but you said um, that could happen anything in the world, but as a closer, mm -hmm. you can get from one month to the other, you can get your income. And this was something that I really thought, how crazy is that? Because there are a lot of other remote um, yeah, works you can do, but with closing, it's you, if you are not so, yeah, you, you can decide it on yourself. It's probably what you talk about is probably the, the financial confidence part, right? Yeah. So that it, it doesn't matter what happens in the world. Once you are, for example, once you've proven it to yourself, like you have right now, you had since the beginning of this year, you had an incredible run, you made a ton of money. Um, and, and that, of course, does something to you as well. So you have the proof of concept, first of all, that you know 
okay, this actually works. And you, I think you didn't really have that when we first met in Playa del Carmen. No. There was still a little bit of doubt going yes. on, right? Um, so I'm glad that this is that we have taken care of that. Okay, but now we're sitting here and you know, okay, proof of concept, you've did it since January, you went an incredible run, um, you know it's working. And from that, you can take this financial confidence, meaning you know for fact for yourself, when you wake up in the morning, like, Ooh, yeah, you could always go out there. It doesn't matter what happens. If they shut down the world again or whatever, you can always go out there and uh, basically generate an income out of thin air. Okay. Yeah. If you yeah. are a good closer, this is what you, you will, said. Yeah. yeah. You will be able to reach out to someone who has a higher ticket offer in the marketplace who's pushing that offer where you feel, okay, that's something that I'm interested in. They're getting good results, they're doing something great. And then you just close them on the idea of working with you. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you jump on an offer and you can generate an income out of thin air yeah, without yeah. having to have a product, a business, or any of these things you don't even have to do the fulfillment right you're just mm -hmm. talking to people you're connecting with them and figuring out hey can we help you yeah, is that the right thing for you here like what's your yeah, situation exactly and if so great and if not then yeah maybe you can point them into the right direction mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um so that's a very legit point and at the same time i also believe it's one of the few careers where really once you are on your first offer and you complete you're new to this um, and you might can confirm that you basically getting paid to practice and to get better. Yeah. So it's one of these few things where you're yeah. actually getting paid as you practice to get better when you get That's started. Great. Yeah. Right. Um, which is, I, which, which is super cool that, that I think one question I still have is what would you say to someone, Melanie, who, because especially with you, you now doing it in, in the German market and in German, your native language, right. Um, our program is in English, but what would you say to someone who maybe is not 100% sure or convinced about our program, about us, um, about closing, uh, uh, high ticket closing, remote closing, um, or maybe someone who is considering about joining our mentorship program, our community, but um, they don't know if it's the right thing for them. Like, what would you say to someone like that? I would recommend it everybody. I would say give it a try because you have nothing to lose because it's such a great opportunity uh, in, in earning um, really, really good income. When I saw this bank account, bank statement with like this, this sum, uh, like five digit, I was, it's incredible. So, and even like, I feel nowadays everybody could um, have like a second income strategy. Mm -hmm. So even if you do it, if you don't do it like as a first income, but it's, it's, it, it would even be enough. But mm -hmm. I, I would say, give it a try. It's, it's such a cool opportunity. If you're looking for a remote job, if you're looking for something really independently, where you decide on, on your day, on your hours. Mm -hmm. And you even learn for your, for your whole life, as I said. That's a good point. Like before we wrap this up, because uh, like the, the one, one quick spontaneous question I would have you for yeah. you now is how did, like, were there any situations where you have been able to apply the closing skill that, that, we, that we taught you um, outside of business? Like, could you see any... Uh, any positive things happening outside of business that you or situations where you where you could take advantage of the closing skill that you've learned, um, not just making commissions, but actually talking to friends, families, like applying it in your social life and then just you communicating with people. Have you seen like a difference there? Yes, of course. Not only this um, closing skills, but everything I, I um, learned in this program, as I said, this, this book, Go Giver, we, we should read. So this is something you can you can adapt in your whole life. And mm -hmm. the closing skills, yes, of course. I I often give like friends at, um, like tips and recommendations who are also in sales. So mm -hmm. um, or also for my networking business. Right. Um, yeah, there are skills you even if you talk to friends because um, <laughs> when doing your 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 program, you also learn to, to, um, to feel how the person feels. I don't know if, if I can explain it right in English, but you, you, you have a better uh, connection with the other people. 
I yeah, feel. Under, it's easier to understand people because you're, yeah. you're able to read people a lot easier yeah. Yeah. and communicate on, on their level with them, right? Exactly. Um, absolutely. Cool. Um, Melanie, what are the next steps for you going forward? I know you have your network marketing business as well. And of course, the leverage from the closing skill into that, 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 that of course, is elevating as well everything. But yeah. what are kind of the next steps for you now um, going forward for, for the next few months years to yeah. come for the moment i, I really love uh, i love this program i'm i'm working for i'm closing at the moment so i really hope this this works for a longer um, period mm -hmm. and i really feel because i talked to the coach and i i feel she's really satisfied with my work so <laughs> you're crushing it of course <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah, for the moment is uh, keeping my closing business um, and also um, on the second hand, also increasing my network marketing. Because what gave me the closing business, it, it took away this financial pressure from me because my network marketing business did not increase so fast. So I couldn't not really live from it very good. So, mm -hmm. and then came closing and it, it took me the financial pressure at all. So now I really can do my network marketing business from my heart. Yes. Really good. Yeah. That's such a good point because oftentimes when, when I talk to people who are in a, in, a, in a nine to five job or who are still working and then they want to transition directly into starting their own business now or something like network marketing where they're kind of the, I mean, there's a lot to that. Okay. There's just a lot of moving parts. And oftentimes when you come out of a job, you don't necessarily have these entrepreneurial or these business skills that are required to really make it, make it work, right? Um, and with closing, what you basically do, you're picking one small area of a business, which is the sales part you know, at the end mm -hmm. of the day, and you only concentrate on that and everything else is taken care of by the, by the business owner. So that allows you to get very, very good, very, very quick and have a high leverage um, in terms of what is the value that you're providing to, to the marketplace or to the actual company, because you are the yeah. rainmaker, you're closing yes. these deals and you're collecting the money, right? Um, so as long as you just concentrate on that, get really, really good, yeah, um, you can build on that, you can create the cash flow, just talking to people without having a product and then using that money, cash flow um, and the experience that you have to put that more into like your passion business, like you said, for you, that's your network marketing business. Okay. For me, that's this coaching business. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for everyone that's, that looks a little bit different, but um, that's really the, the beauty of, of closing. It gives you a kickstart. It provides you with the skills that you need to have anyways, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, and you can just monetize on that like crazy. Right. Exactly. And <laughs> I even have a third business in my, my mind. It's like an own business. Mm -hmm. um, and without the financial background from, from closing, I would have never ever thought of starting it. But now with this financial background, I really think of doing already the first steps in this year. So, and this is a good feeling. That's exciting. Yeah, and that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna be the next steps for you. Yeah? So you yeah. use closing as a, as a trampoline or kind of as a platform to, to, uh, to build exactly. onto it, yeah? to stack onto it. Um, yeah, Melanie, I mean, as we're slowly coming to an end here, is there anything else that you would like to mention that you would like to tell people here, whether that's our current students who, who are gonna see this interview first, or of course, also people who are interested in, in joining the program who are going to see the interview later as well. Is there anything that you still want to mention before we wrap things up? Um, I could only share? say everybody who, who wants to um, work a pro, uh, remote or from another part of the world. Now, I'm already thinking where I could go this year and where I could yeah. make my... my uh, closing calls from the beach or anywhere else so he should give it a try and the investment is so worth it because the investment in the human human capital is also the best investment and yeah, yeah so just give it a try and work from the beach <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, you always get the highest return if you invest into yourself, and no one can take that from you. You can no. always go and travel with it, right? So, um, 
That's amazing. That's and that's a good good note to kind of wrap this interview up, Melanie. It was uh, really amazing to just sit down with you today and then kind of uh, talk with you about your journey and how things have been. Yeah. Um, and I'm super excited for what is about to come for you. Now, um, of course, you're going to keep me updated with this. And uh, again, thank you so much for the interview today. It was great. And yeah, if you're watching this right now, and if you want to figure out if uh, high ticket closing, remote closing is something um, that you're considering, something that you want to give it a go, um, just click the link down below. Yeah, um, and check out the link, uh, book a free consultation call with me or with someone in my team. And then we look at your situation, we put a strategy together and see how this uh, might work for you as well. Uh, thank you so much, Melanie. Thanks for watching. And uh, I see you guys. Bye-bye. Hi.